I'm Bob Zykowitz, your host this morning, and it gives me pleasure to introduce my guest, Justin Weaves. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Justin is our finance director, so he's got some good information <laughs> for us. The question that I have to you, Justin, is are we healthy financially speaking? <laughs> As always, yes, we're, we're healthy financially speaking. Right. Um, we tallied up the year and results for 2015 and we, we did very well. We made um, $14.2 million in net operating income, which is, which is right on par with, with previous years. Um, we have a healthy financial cash reserve, which again, we have where we fund repositioning projects. So those large capital expenditures, so we don't have to go out and assume debt or, or obtain leverage to That's finance any of these good large news. projects. So the, the repositioning that will be beginning hopefully sometime middle of this year, in the middle of this year, is a four-year project and upwards of 48 to $50 million, but we don't have to assume any debt because our wonderful financial position. The, you mentioned about the operating fund. Mm -hmm. um, just two days ago, we had a little do out here outside of Channel 6. We had a water main or a sprinkler system uh, <laughs> break. Mm -hmm. And the, th the fear was on the part of the staff here that maybe some of the water would leak in and uh, maybe ruin the equipment or affect it. My question is, do we have the operating funds to immediately fix that? No, no problem about yeah, no problem. So oh, okay. again, the, one of the purposes of our cash reserves is, is kind of like a rainy, rainy day fund. We're operating 65 acres over 2 million square feet, so we know things happen. Oh, okay. um, so that, that cash reserve fund are for those emergencies as, as well as where we're properly insured. So even though we have to have a ca cash outlay, we should be reimbursed for a percentage of, of that cash outlay. Uh, I don't know this, I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Do we have an operating fund and an emergency fund, or is it all one? So it's not all one. We actually have different cash positions. I won't bore you with, with too no. many of the details, but we essentially have an investment fund where the majority of our cash is held because instead of just having X amount of dollars sitting in a bank account, you want it to earn a return. Okay. Uh, we actually have another, we'll call it a, a more of a savings account where we have at least 45 days of cash on hand. Then we have a normal operating where we pay payroll and just normal expenses out of. And something like this sprinkler system thing, uh, you authorize the expenditure to repair it and it's done. Mm -hmm. uh, does insurance play any part in this at all? Yeah, so our first priority is to ensure the, the issue is contained. So okay. I spoke to Lynn Keefe about this um, actually yesterday and her team was on it, they're aware of it and got on it very quickly. So the first is just get it fixed, do what it takes to get it fixed and um, not necessarily however much it costs, but keeping an eye on the finance to make sure we're, we're diligently fixing the problem. Then we would submit a claim to the insurance company and uh -huh. then they would review the claim to, a, to, to see how much they would reimburse us based on our, our oh, policy. Good, huh? I'm glad to know that. Yeah. <clears throat> I assume then from what you say, you and Lynn were <laughs> close together. Uh, my, myself and all of the, the directors. Um, mm -hmm. We have weekly meetings, executive team meetings. Um, you see us constantly at the, the town halls for residents and employees. So we, we're, we're talking constantly all day, every day, e email, um, text message. Uh, phone calls as mm -hmm. well as in persons. I'm a, I'm actually meeting the director ac after this just to go over some financials for for the month. I'm going to switch stories here a little bit. I'd like to talk about a conversation that I had with a resident over the dinner table. Obviously, okay. this resident said that <clears throat> she had received a bill for something like ten or eleven thousand dollars and she said to me, I didn't run that up. What do I do? And I said, Well, the first thing you want to do is contact your finance office and, and see if we can resolve this. Mm -hmm. So she went over and she talked to the young lady at the desk and then she once she returned, she still didn't know exactly what to do. So what I mentioned to her was get in touch with you or one of your staff mm -hmm. 
and see if that can be resolved right then and there. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Yes, we can. So the, she, she did the right thing. She came by the finance office, and yeah. she most likely spoke to Marcia Ware, our mm -hmm. new accounting office coordinator. Uh -huh. So she's still learning a little bit. <clears throat> However, she should be able to answer the majority of the questions that people would have. And I, I would say in this case, if you get a bill of that size and it looks a little odd, I would check to make sure your payment was processed correctly. Because oh, one yeah. of the simple answers we come across is um, someone submitted a check maybe later in the month, and that check or that payment hasn't necessarily been applied to the account yet. So you're oh. still car carrying the balance from the previous month and this month, so it's a little higher. So like with any bill that you would receive, it's just processing time. Once you submit the check, we get it, we have to process it through mail, et cetera, apply it to the account. So it takes uh, a couple of days to do that. So we just run it, we run into that scenario a lot. And it's, it's fine, we can always check on the spot if the payment was applied, especially later on in the month, like now, we, mm -hmm. can, we can see if the, the, the payment was appropriately applied. Is, is your or your staff's door always open? Always open. Um, Come in, we have a nice little candy bowl in there, so if you just want candy, you can, you can just stop and get candy. And while you're in there, ask us a question. Um, you can talk to Marcia Ware at the front desk, Greg Zernhelt, our financial analyst. Mm -hmm. He sits directly back um, in the back of the finance office, and myself as well. Um, if you're over in Garden Ridge, you would speak to FEMA Watson-Brown, our business oh, office Oh, this is manager. something new to me. Okay. Now, if I'm in Garden Ridge, then who is this? Fema Watson Brown. She's the business office manager, and she's essentially the finance personnel oh, in Garden Ridge, and okay. she sits right on the main floor behind the the front desk. So That's if you say your name in the building, everyone knows who. Interesting. Who's I didn't know. Well, I haven't been in Garden Ridge. So no, know. no worries. Standard S and P. Are they? Uh, are we still strong with them? Yes. So. S&P and Fitch are rating agencies, and yeah. they've um, upgraded our, our rating last year to A+, and then we have a f affirmation of our A rating as well. So we use those ratings. Just think of it as, as a credit score, your personal credit score. Um, the higher it is, the better. Um, luckily, we're, we're not in a position to go out and assume any additional debt, but in the event that we would need it, we would get favorable rates, mm -hmm. just like with a credit mm -hmm. score. Erickson, and now Jim Davis, really, mm -hmm. uh, they're not on the market, are they? On the stock market? <laughs> no, they're not a public organization. They're, okay. they're a private company. Um, I will say Erickson Living Management, our management company, is owned by Redwood Capital. They're, they're just a private equity firm, and they, they're not public as well. Uh -huh. Because uh, with the ratings that we've been <laughs> having and the background that we have mm -hmm. and the reputation i'm sure there would be a lot of residents here would invest in their own company yeah so it's it's of course when in business that's always a possibility but i will say with redwood capital the private equity holders of mm -hmm. of elm um, they they are not known to take companies public they they're they're just known for growth they want to invest in companies and see them grow and just um if you think about jim davis and <clears throat> his, his partner, um, Steve Bashadi, who built the Allegis Group um, since, I'm going to say, since the 60s or so, mm -hmm. they, they're just sound businessmen. They don't make rash decisions, and I just I trust our management company um, fully. Before I let you go, my friend, mm -hmm. do you have any down-the-pike predictions for us? So, so mm -hmm. I, again, we... I confirmed our budget end of last year, and I just foresee us maintaining that level of um, of performance, standard financial performance, mm -hmm. not not significantly higher or lower than what we would assume. Um, luckily, Green Spring is is pretty stable, <laughs> especially in the uh, Erickson management portfolio, and we just um, continue to do well. Our, our residents are great; they they love to pay their bills on time. <laughs> luckily, so it's. Um, I think it's just, just steady Eddie from here mm -hmm. on out. Well, I want to thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Okay. You have been most informative, <laughs> and it's been a pleasure. Thank you.